So I just came back from vacation in a very hot destination and I come back to Canada and it's just snow. Lots and lots of snow. It's that time of the month. No, it's it's not your girl's period. It's the time of the month where I show you guys the brand new and latest sneakers that are sitting at the mall right now. What are the best sneakers you can buy in the month of February 2020? Now, it is cold. It is snowy in Canada here. So you're probably not going to bust out any of these shoes anytime soon. But when the snow does melt or if you're going to somewhere without snow, these will be the sneakers you'll want to wear this month and throughout the spring and summer. I'm also in desperate need of a haircut. So whenever I go get a haircut at the mall, I try Try and do a little vlog for you guys too. Kill two birds with one stone. One thing I notice is that whenever I'm feeling down or just like unmotivated or I don't feel good about myself, a haircut really does the trick when it comes to you know giving that confidence back, and getting you back in your you know your mojo, your zone, getting getting you back in your mojo, you know giving you that sauce, getting you in the zone to be productive. Productive? I haven't vlogged in a while, guys. As you can tell. I have a lot of pickups to show you guys. We have so much haul content and sneaker unboxings to get through. I have a couple more top 10 videos to do, like sneakers I think you should add to your collection uh, based off of brands. So a lot of more content on the way, and we're coming back strong. I just came back from a vacation with Tim in some tropical areas like Mexico, Belize, Honduras, and we're back here in the cold, cold country of Canada, ready to grind out some videos for you guys. But yo, just a quick teaser of like all the sneakers I have to show you guys. All these Adidas adidas sent over so a lot of pairs here we got even more adidas to show you guys that they sent over we got some love from puma we got some bape boots right here a special collaboration and some more and more pickups and while we're showing you guys new pickups or what's to come i may as well show you guys one new pickup as well this is my wraith funko pop figure this is one of my main characters when it comes to apex legends i do stream on twitch twitch.tv slash come hang out drop a follow on there we're gonna do some sneaker giveaways and some live sneaker discussions on twitch so link in the description down below my latest funko pop the wraith figure and if you guys collect funko pops let me know in the poll in the top right hand corner is it a yes or no, do you collect Funko Pops? I'm curious. I figure we do a couple of life updates before we get going to the mall. Um, I have been looking at condos in Toronto and thinking about moving out very, very soon. And I was gonna do some travel to places like Japan and Philippines, but because of, you know, the sort of virus, the coronavirus happening right now, I have pretty much postponed my travel plans to the Philippines and Japan until things uh, start to settle down a little bit. So I wanna go back soon, but for now we're in Toronto hunting for condos. And uh, yeah, all right, now let's get going to the mall and hunt for some sneakers. All right, so we're inside of Fairview Mall right now and there's four sneaker stores here, but we don't really vlog in the full logger because the manager there don't like us. But we're gonna stop by uh, Champ Sports first, then Nike Store, and then Foot Action. So let's see what they got. Champs usually has the best prices on some sale items, and then Nike usually has some random restocks, but Foot Action has the combination of both, I'd say. So let's check out Champs and see what they have. Now, I don't know about you guys when it comes to your local malls, but for every mall here in like the North York Scarborough area, I want to say like one fifth of the mall is like closed down. Like there's so much construction happening right now. So a lot of the stores like went out of business and uh, I'm not really too sure what's going to happen with retail in the next few years. Even the largest store in the small Forever 21 shut down like a few weeks ago. I think it's just because I shop online too much. That, that must be it. Everyone just loves shopping online. It's so easy. It just comes right to your door, especially in Canada. You don't have to step outside into the cold. Here is a look at the Adidas section. Quite a few things on sale. Nothing too crazy catching my eye. I got a few Continental 80s for I believe $80, a few different colorways. We got the Adidas Oswego here for $99.99. This is black and neon green colorway. Check these out. We got the Adidas ZX Flux right here. They're bringing them back. I don't know why they have a sale for one cent off. I think that's a little weird. One cent's not really that big of a discount. And they have this really clean white and gum colorway as well. The ZX Flux is one of the sneakers that really got me into adidas so it's cool to see they're bringing them back here's a look at more of the puma and nike sneakers we got some air max 270s on sale for 150. i remember i paid full retail price for these 200. really good shoe and i think it's just because uh, this shoe is pretty much near the nearing the end of its lifespan in terms of like shelf life these were like the two og colorways they put out so it's cool to see they have them like a year or two later this is what i mean by steel pricing here at champs we have the rso black and white colorway the sound for 49.99 we have a few colorways 
colorways of the Puma RSX Cubed. We have this black, white, and gray one for 140. We have another one of the OG colorways here as well. And Champ Sports actually sent me this colorway. I really, really like these. They're really gotta do a review on these very, very soon. Definitely can't go wrong with the Air Max 97 triple white colorway. These are really clean. And if you wanna save money and not buy the ones that have uh, the holy water, I mean, 225 is a better price than what? Five, 10,000, I forget. But the, the holy water ones, those are insane. I'm surprised they dropped these. An all red colorway of the Air Max 270s, $200. I like these, but I think that all red trend is pretty much dead in the water at this point. Really good price on these, the Air Max 270 Reacts. These are down from 195. They're now going for $120. I think this is one of the OG colorways, the Bauhaus, or Bauhaus. And then they also have these Air Max 97s. Here's some more sneakers from the Nike Evolution of Swoosh Pack. We have these for 140. I can only find these in sizes 11 and up, unfortunately. Ooh, I love the Air Max Plus, and I like this uh, green, like Air Max 95 inspired colorway they have. Really, really clean. I love the uh, the double swoosh on the side of the sneaker and that purple air unit. Pretty dope too. These are a really nice pickup. Might have to grab these on sale, but for now they're $215 plus tax. On to the Jordans. We got the Tinker 3s, the, uh, the Air Max 1 inspired colorway for $200 plus tax. We got the Nyx 3s as well, still sitting. We also got the uh, the Laker 13s for $200, the Camo 10s for $200 as well. These right here, I'm surprised they're at full retail price because these are $265 at Champs, but the What the Air Jordan 4 is, I think, 25% off at Foot Action. So we'll see when we get over there what the price is like. And they still have the, uh, the Poor Man M&M 4s, the winterized Air Jordan 4s. This is definitely a sneaker that I would say is one of the best ones you can buy at the mall, especially in the spring and winter season. I think both of these Jordan 4s are some of the best sneakers you can buy right now at the mall, in my opinion. Which one do you guys like more? Hit that poll in the top right-hand corner, the winterized or the what the Air Jordan 4. We also have the Air Jordan 6 denim. I figured these would have been like a Levi's collaboration because they did do the Levi's Air Jordan 4s in that blue, white, and black colorway, but this is the first time I'm seeing the denim Air Jordan 6s in hand. I really just, I don't think I like this denim material on the upper end. The leather the leather patch or little leather part in the middle right there it's throwing me off it's like obviously inspired by a pair of denim jeans but i'd rather just wear a pair of uh, denim jeans than wear a air jordan 6 made of denim i'd rather wear like infrared 6s you feel me the levi's 4s were much better than these Ooh, take a look at these we sort of have like a, a new air jordan 1 royal mid this is a mid top version of the jordan 1 i did do a top 10 air jordan 1 mids video so if you guys want to see that i'll leave a link down below or the pinned comments and uh, yeah these are really clean these are 150 Canadian dollars. The Royal Air Jordan 1 Mid or Royal Toe Air Jordan 1 Mid. I like these a lot. The final sneaker I want to show you guys are the uh, the Grape Mars Yard 270s. These are just, I love the colorway. Don't get me wrong. I love the colorway. I love the Grape Air Jordan 5, but this model is just trash. Probably one of the worst sneakers to drop from Jordan brand in recent years. If you like the shoe, I'm sorry, but these are just whack. I would rather wear the, uh, the mid top Royal ones. So there you guys go. That was Champ Sports. Now I only have like seven more minutes until my haircut appointment. So we're going to quickly stop by Nike. They usually don't have too much stuff there. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to uh, show you guys all the cool stuff inside of the Nike store within like five minutes. So let's hit up the Nike store. All right, here we are at the Nike store. A quick general look at the uh, the lifestyle wall. A couple of shoes do catch my eye, so I'll show you guys my favorites from the Nike store. They just started releasing these like double swoosh Air Max 270 Reacts. So this is a super simple black and blue colorway. They also have a gray one with red and orange swooshes as well. Down below are some of my favorite sneakers here at the mall. We got the Nike Blazer Mid Vintage 77. So this is the white and charcoal gray colorway with that swoosh. And if you're a fan of the off-white blazers, this is a great alternative if you're on a tight, tight budget. I have a pair I'll be reviewing very, very soon. I have the blue pair they released last year and uh, they actually have a new version of it, I think. I think the shade of blue is a shade darker on these ones here. But uh, yeah, really, really great shoe in my opinion. And if you are looking for sort of the classic timeless sneaker that you can use as a daily beater or as a clean white shoe to dress up, the Blazer Mid 77 Vintage for 135 Canadian, a really, really good shoe. I love my Air Force Ones. They have this simple black and white colorway for 120. Easier to maintain than the all white ones because they have the black outsole and they have the black ankle right here, which will not get dirty. Like your jeans dye will rub off on them and it'll get pretty dirty pretty quick. But the black hits a nice way to uh, keep a white pair 
fresher for longer and not have to worry about them getting as dirty. They also have a few Gore-Tex Air Force ones. I'm a huge fan of these. Gore-Tex makes like really, really weather resistant and waterproof materials, sort of like a ballistic mesh right here on the side. There's a 195 for this colorway really really clean then they also have an olive colorway a black colorway a navy blue colorway and this sort of uh sand kind of colorway so here's a look at the other air force ones and then we'll take a look at the j wall right here in the lebrons the basketball section basically whoa these are some crazy crazy Kyrie sixes what on earth that leopard or cheetah print on this on the strap that's insane man and these yannises you know these yannises are crazy too i think these are one of the loudest colorways i've seen for the uh, for the Giannis Zoom Freak One, these are crazy. Retail price 160, not on sale. Haven't seen these on sale anywhere yet. And then here's a quick look at the rest of the Jordans. We got some mids, the Royal mids, like I showed you guys earlier, and the What the Air Jordan fours as well. Here, retail price 265. And on to the last two sneakers I want to show you guys: the Nike Air Vapor Max 360. I think these are the Air Max 360 fused with the Vapor Max bottom. We've seen this time and time again where Nike's taken the Vapor Max sole and has basically made a hybrid Air. Max sneaker. These are cool. These are $300 though. I don't think they're $300 cool. And then the final shoe of the day I want to show you guys are the Air Max 90, the sort of neon yellow colorway. And in 2020, they're actually making the Air Max 90 shape more true to the OG form. So in the past, uh, it's been more chunkier in the back, but as you guys can see, it's more, I want to say aerodynamic. You see less of the swoosh. The swoosh is like almost cut into on the side right here. These are going for $160. If you haven't seen my Air Max 90 review, I did one a few years ago. So there you guys go. That was the uh, Nike store here at Fairview Mall. Shout out to them, very friendly employees as well. But next up, we're going to be going to my haircut real quick since it's 4 p.m. So we'll go to the haircut. I'll meet you guys at Foot Action in a second with a brand new hairstyle so let's uh let's see what my hair ends up looking like all right we're back and uh, we have foot action right behind me here we are at the nike section right now a few air force ones i haven't really seen at the other stores so let's check them out we got these really cool blue air force ones for 145 the one sp20 Air Force One is like a full, uh, I think it's like a mesh kind of upper, not a mesh, it's sort of like a, a synthetic nylon upper. So here's the blue colorway again, 145 plus tax. And they also have a red colorway as well. These are pretty cool. And I like how you can see the uh, the contrast stitching right there, the black on the red swoosh. And it turns out they have one simple colorway of those Air Force Ones as well, this time in the simple black and white colorway. Here's some more Air Force One lows, this time in this weird black colorway. Sort of has that off-white kind of vibe as well with the the unnecessary uh, text on the side, the double swooshes. I like the iridescent Air Force One tag right there on the laces, that's pretty dope. And these are 135 plus tags. A pretty good beater Air Force One, I'd say, but I don't really think I'd uh, buy these for myself. Probably one of my favorite sneakers at the mall sitting are the Air Max 97 Nintendo 64 collaborations. These are 25% off from that $240 price tag. Oh man, I love these. Some really clean Air Max 97s. This black colorway has a sort of a rainbow tag here. Sort of reminds me of the Olympics. I think this is sort of like an Olympics kind of theme. Uh, with the, I think those are the rings, the ring colors for the Olympics. But uh, yeah, these are dope. These are going for $225 plus tax. I got the golden. Air Max branding that sparkles as well on the back. On top of that, they have the red colorway. Now this red colorway, damn man, these are nice. These really remind me of those Cristiano Ronaldo 97s that have like the patch kind of upper. These are really clean. These are also 225. I think this is also some sort of like unofficial Olympic Air Max 97. These are really dope. One of the best sneakers here at the mall. Here's a quick rundown of the Air Max section. If you guys want to see or, or window shop through my vlog or just quickly show you guys what's available. Don't want to get through all of these, but uh, yeah, I'm just to show you guys very quickly. A lot of the sneakers right now are 25% off. Like this entire Nike section is all 25% off for the most part. Including these Air Max Pluses. We also got the Vapor Max Pluses for 25% off. They also have a new red colorway that just came out. These are full retail price at 255. That's like the same cost as a pair of Retro Jordans. Here's a look at the van selection that they have. A lot of the vans on sale as well. $60 for this checkered board skate high. On the other side over here, I think they have the low tops. Yeah, so they have all the low tops on this side, the old schools, 
the slip on. I usually try and find Vans at the Vans outlet. So if you guys wanna see a Vans outlet vlog with the Nike outlet and Adidas at Von Mills, comment down below, outlet vlog, please. And we'll do an outlet vlog as soon as possible. Here is a look at the retro Jordan section. So a lot of good stuff. And again, some stuff is on sale that's not on sale at other stores. So we of course have the Royal mid top ones. We got the Shatter backboard ones or the, the mid top version for 145 plus tag. We got the bread toes here as well. The bloodlines on sale, not on sale, but a retail price is 215 plus tax. I just pushed down and the leather like went all the way in. We'll put those back. We have bloodline still sitting. We have the What the Air Jordan 4s on sale for 25% off, size 13. They had a size 10 the last time I was here, so this might be one of the last sizes they have available. More retros up here, so here's just a quick look at those. Ooh, what do we have here? A new colorway of the Air Jordan Spizike. Haven't seen too many Spizikes at the uh, sneaker stores at the mall right now, but we have this black and and purple colorway pretty clean i feel like the spiz eggs don't really sell too well at the mall though these will probably end up at the outlets but this is probably one of my favorite non retro air jordan models these are some really clean air jordan 12s as well on sale for 25 percent off definitely a great sneaker to make as your daily beater and that white midsole is honestly really easy to clean so uh yeah for 25 percent off that's probably one of the better sneakers here at the mall today as well now i've been showing you guys some of the best sneakers at the mall today but let me show you guys some of the worst sneakers at the mall today they got the shattered backboard air yard 270 things mars yard 270s 25% off. I wouldn't even buy these for 80% off, bro. We'll throw these back. And they also have a uh, DMP version. You guys know the Air Jordan 6 DMP is coming up very, very soon this year. I have those on screen right now. And here is its ugly cousin that no one really wants. The Fire Red Air Jordan 5s are also coming out. Those are highly anticipated because they have the Nike Air branding on the back. And here is its ugly cousin that nobody wants at all. Oh my gosh. These are, these are hideous. The name of these are the Air Jordan MXN 200 for $170. You will get roasted at your school if you wear these. These are like a fusion of some Air Max model, the midsole right there, as you can see, and the Air Jordan 5. This is just a waste of material and labor. We'll throw those back. These right here are the brand new Satin Air Jordan 1s that just came out. Retail price is $235 plus tax. These are a good sneaker if you're looking for that one Jordan or that one sneaker that's going to last you for the year. So we have leather on the upper right here and on the side panels. And then you have the satin material on the side with your red laces that really pop and then the red uh, Nike Air branding. These are sitting pretty much at every retailer. So you can pick these up at the uh, local mall. These might end up on discount very, very soon. And I got to say the leather quality is actually pretty nice on these. Got a bunch of Ultra Boosts. So these are new ones for the Chinese New Year for 2020. These are really cool. They have like this cool print on the back. Don't really see that too often when it comes to the Ultra Boost over here as well. Really, really well done Ultra Boost. I'm a huge fan of these. Retail price is 250 plus tax. I love the metallic gold on the Ultra Boost uh, branding as well. And the three stripes on the side actually have a sort of a shimmery effect, which is pretty cool. Ooh, these really caught my eye. There's like a 3M uh, reflective Ultra Boost. The upper here is not prime knit. It's something else. It's like a weird, very durable kind of mesh, I want to say. And then down below, we have some Star Wars sneakers. We got the Night Jogger Star Wars version. We got the uh, another, oh, this is the uh, R2-D2 Star Wars Night Jogger sitting here as well. And they have the Ultra Boost from the pack too. Here's a quick rundown of the Adidas section too. We got the Pharrell's on sale for $50 off in that neon yellow colorway. Pink ones for also $250. We have the uh, new metal pack. I love the metallic gold on these. We also have the silver one as well. I'm more of a fan of the gold colorway. We also got the Ultra Boost 19 on sale for $200. $100 and then we have the brand new Ultra Boost 20 here. Full retail price is $250. So I love the iridescent midsole. They have the two OG colorways here and then they actually applied it to the NMDs as well. So that's pretty cool to see. And then here's a look at the Converse section. I have a top 10 Converse video coming up very, very soon. Huge fan of the Chuck Taylor 1970s. These are on sale for 25% off. So $90 with the extra discount on top of that. And I definitely mess with these Chucks, the Flame Chuck Taylors. These are $75. It's too bad these aren't done on a 1970s silhouette. I don't really like the regular Chuck Taylor because they're really, really uncomfortable. If you guys didn't make it to the end of the shopping vlog, comment down below your favorite sneaker you saw in today video and hit that like button as well it helps me out a ton if you guys want more videos like this feel free to binge watch my other videos and if you really want more outlet vlogs comment down below outlet vlogs please and i'll try and cook one up this week i'll catch you guys in the next video feels good to be back peace out